<laughs> Aeroflot Russian Airlines placing an order for eight more Boeing 777 airplanes, part of the carrier strategy to handle the expected growth in passenger traffic from events like the upcoming Olympics and World Cup in Russia. But the question for Aeroflot and all the other airlines at the Paris Air Show is who's going to fly and service all these new airplanes? Surely it's an issue to, to consider. It goes without saying that a modern aircraft needs a very skillful, properly trained pilot. It's a pressing issue for airlines around the world. According to a new Boeing forecast, by 2030, the industry will need 460,000 new commercial airline pilots and 650,000 new commercial maintenance technicians. That means finding 50,000 trained people every year. So are we investing enough as an industry in the flight schools and in the assets necessary to train, to, to attract, and then develop these pilots and technicians? Sherry Carberry, vice president of Boeing Flight Services, says the challenge is most acute in the Asia-Pacific region, which is seeing phenomenal growth with no signs of slowing. So you look at Asia, which is going to be the largest market now, the infrastructure, the assets, the resources to train and maintain those airplanes just doesn't really exist as much as it needs to. Aside from the infrastructure, the industry also needs to consider the incoming students. Carberry says Boeing Flight Services is adapting its technologies, devices and training methods to the changing marketplace. You're now going to be dealing with pilots and technicians from multicultural, multilingual, multidisciplined environments and we have to find a way to make sure they're all learning the way they want to learn. Boeing and carriers like Aeroflot say they are up to the challenge. Along with aircraft, we get from aircraft producers flight simulators which uh, help us to train pilots and we work in close cooperation with all aircraft producers addressing this issue.